never given much thought to the little ants that are scurrying around in your back garden. But when it comes to teamwork and strong family ties, these invertebrates are a force to be reckoned with. Oh no! Oh, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. This is a death spiral. Something's gone wrong. It, you know, it looks like a universe spinning. So how ants find their way through a landscape is by following each other's pheromone trails. And what's happened is there's been a break in the trail. Someone's lost it and started going around in circles, following its own trail around in circles, and then the next one does, and the next one does, and the next one does, and then before you know it, you've got an ant death spiral going on. A lot of them probably will die of exhaustion. They just literally walk around and around in circles until they cark it. Oh God, God. Okay, okay, snake, bat, ants. Oh, and another strike. Oh yeah, oh God, the bat is still alive. It's, oh. I think what's happened from the ants' perspective is this unholy ball of hell has fallen from the sky onto their territory and disturbed probably the entrance or something, disturbed their nest. I reckon that the ants gave off an emergency pheromone. Emergency, emergency, we're under attack. And that's why there was this like swarm of ants coming out to defend. Yeah, it's like, which circle of hell is that? It's all of them. See, the snake gets so agitated by all of the ants biting that it lets go. Actually manages to fly away. What a beast. <sighs> Makes me want to get into the gym. Most ants can lift around 50 times their body weight, which is huge, right? I mean, if it was me, that would be like the equivalent of three cars or something. So like move over strong man, ants are in town. <laughs> oh my God, it looks like the cartoons. So these ants are working together to carry it really effectively. I mean, I thought that only happened in the cartoons. Look at it. They have literally raided the picnic. Researchers have found in the common American field ant that the neck joint where the head goes onto the thorax can actually withstand 5,000 times its own body weight. It's a huge amount of pressure being, you know, right on that tiny little bit that joins the head to the thorax. These guys are just incredible. And one of the reasons they can withstand it is because of their exoskeleton, right? So they don't wear their bones on the inside, they wear their bones on the outside as a sheet of armor that goes over their whole body. And that means that they're really durable. It means also that they don't have to use muscle strength to stand up like we do. They stand up by themselves because of their exoskeleton. Floods bring out all sorts of things, and that looks like an ant raft, uh, maybe of fire ants. They're known to raft. Ants that live in swampy conditions have this ability, and it's creepy as hell. Look at them. Oh, it's making my hair stand up on end. Oh, oh, wow. Look, they've created like a floating highway system. So fire ants have this ability to form these huge rafts and the rafts can include their whole colony. And what they're doing is linking together in sort of like little T junctions. They've got lots of different connection points with the ants around them. And they've got hairs on their body which trap air bubbles, right? Little oxygen bubbles. That's what one of the things that gives them the sort of ability to float. And it also means that the ants, even the ants at the bottom, won't drown. They will actually survive under there for a really long time. And because there's like literally tens of thousands of ants, it forms this really big mass. So cool. Ants are insanely collaborative creatures. I mean, they rely on safety in numbers and they're each able to make a decision that benefits the whole colony. They truly know that teamwork makes the dream work.
If you like this video and you want to find out more amazing animal facts, then you should find my podcast. It's weekly and it's called What the Duck. Yes, you can find it on the ABC Listen app and also anywhere that you find your podcasts.